Wednesday. It is another what I eat in a day today. As you saw, I had coffee. The dogs had their treat. We are getting today off to a fantastic start. It is actually Tuesday when I'm filming this video and it is a very, very busy day for me today. We are going to run quite a few errands. I need to make a quick trip to the post office to mail a package for my 90 day challenge. I need to go put the money from the yard sale into the bank and I am on the hunt for a few additional decor pieces to round out our refresh that we did on our home decor. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm looking for as far as where I wanna place them and what pieces I'm looking for. And we are going to go to Hobby Lobby and also at home and we may just stop by TJ Maxx if I'm unable to find what I'm looking for at Hobby Lobby or at home. And then tonight we are going to Jazzercise. We just have a really busy day ahead of us today. So I thought it would be a perfect day to film, take you guys along with me, show you kind of what I'm thinking for home decor pieces. It's just going to be a fantastic day. So if you're new, make sure that you are subscribed and your bell is turned on so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't wanna miss a single one. I do a what I eat in a day every single Wednesday. Thumbs up this video if you enjoy these what I eat in a days. And let's jump into breakfast because I'm hungry. All right, so here is breakfast for this morning. These are some huge, delicious looking organic blackberries from my Imperfect Foods box. I love Imperfect Foods and it's a great way to help prevent food waste. So it's kind of a win-win. Great prices, definitely check it out below. And I have one of the Ezekiel English muffins. These are the seven sprouted grains. I went ahead and just toasted that up. Right here on this one, I have one wedge of the Laughing Cow Light Cheese. That's going to serve as my cheese. And then I have one egg and one slice of the True Story Oven Roasted Turkey Breast. That is zero smart points. So my breakfast is going to be four points for the English muffin, one point for the Laughing Cow makes five points. The egg, the turkey, and the blackberries are zero and I have a huge cup of water. So this is going to be five smart points. So before I show you guys what home decor pieces I'm about to pick up when I head out, I'm gonna take my greens. And again, these are the greens that I take. These are the My Adventure to Fit greens. I love these and it's a great way to get in some extra greens. So I was gonna show you guys how I take these. I do dry scoop these. If you are nervous about dry scooping, just add it in with a little bit of water and drink it down. Either way, it works great but I have kind of gotten into the dry scooping of the greens, so this is what they look like. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I take them, and then let's look at some home decor. So they taste really good. They're kind of like an apple-y, like sour candy. Again, if you aren't comfortable dry scooping, just mix them with some water. I'll link these down below with 10% off. This is the same company I buy my pre-workout, which you'll see me take before Jazzercise, and also the same company I pick up the CalMag from. So let's look at some home decor. All right, so first, and I apologize if the lighting is crummy, but I just bought this table, and I'm literally obsessed with this table, you guys. It looks so good in here. Let me show you. This is basically my formal living room. This is our living room we watch TV in. This is the living room that does not have a TV. So it's basically just like a sitting room. Well, hi, Squirt. I just bought this new lamp, so that finished off that corner. And then I've got this cute little, like, stick vase. And then these photos up on the wall. And this guy here. So this is the little table I bought at Hobby Lobby. These candles and kind of rusty C I had before. So what I'm looking for today is a rustic picture frame that kind of goes with the look of this table for this photo here. And then on this wall right here, I'm looking for either a mirror or some sort of a piece of art. And this is a huge wall, some sort of a piece of art or something to go above this table that kind of matches. 
I also just redid the decor in this room. That clock is new. Those are new. The pieces here on my little end table are new. I have a plant and stand coming for in the corner, which I'm super excited about. And I also sold my throw pillows in my yard sale. So I'm looking for some pillows that will go kind of with this whole like farmhousey cream uh, wood vibe. So that's what I'm after at either home, Hobby Lobby or at home or Target is some throw pillows. And I want one big throw pillow in this corner and one big throw pillow in that corner. So that's what I'm after. Oh, and this is new as well. I got this cute little plant and just put it on this plant stand here in the corner. So it's this room that I'm working on and we got our dog food order from Chewy. And I have a little follower. And then the pillows, of course, for the living room. So here's a little outfit of the day. Since I'm going to Jazzercise, I have on these super cute leggings. These are from Fabletics. And then I have on just kind of a regular like tank top. And then I've got this big flowy kind of like, I don't know what this is called, like a muscle tank on over that. So I'm just going to go ahead and wear this out and about today shopping. And then I'm ready basically just to throw on some tennis shoes when I get home and head to Jazzercise. So let's give the dogs a treat and head out shopping. All right. Who wants a treat? Well, you got your pop. I know you do. And do you? Yeah. There you go. So I am at the post office. It's 8 11. Let's see if they're open. It says they are online. And I want to show you guys the snacks and things I brought along with me today. All right. So I have water. I have kombucha. I have my masks. I also brought the brand new Built Bar in coconut. This one is only three smart points. You guys, I'm loving the reformulation of Built Bar. I really, truly am. It is so delicious. I love the fluffier texture. It doesn't stick to your teeth. I love that the chocolate coats the entire bar. The bar sizes are the same. I'm just loving the whole revamp on Built Bar. A way to go, Built Bar, on putting out a much better product, a much more consistent product. I will link Built Bar down below. You guys know they have Built Bars, Built Boost, and Built Go, which we will be taking before Jazzercise tonight. So you'll get to see that in action. But I'm going to bring this along and have this as a snack. And then last but not least, I brought a Nick Sticks because you guys know I'm obsessed. So those are my little snacks that I brought along with me. So now let's hope that the post office is open. <laughs> decor success my friends look it I found a lot of things so now I'll show you guys what I got and then we'll see what it looks like put into place I'm hoping everything works out all right so here is some of the haul so first I decided to get this plant stand at at home so anyways I got this plant stand because I want to replace the one in my living room this is a little bit more my decor with the black and the wood we'll see what it looks like and then I found these pillows and I was debating between these pillows and another set. I love kind of the off white of these and this cute little burlap edging. I think that's going to match really well in my living room. These were $20 per pillow, which is a little pricey, but I'm going to see what I think. I almost bought both sets. They were $20 each. So it would have been $80 and then I would have just returned the ones I didn't want, but I'm going to try these out first for my living room couch. And then I saw these bowls when I was walking by the clearance section. These are so cute. And I've been wanting a new mixing bowl set. So I kind of pieced this together. I'll sell my plastic bowls. These were all half off. So the big bowl was only $7 and the small bowls were six. So I got a new mixing set, which I'm excited about. And at Hobby Lobby, I picked this up for Troy for Christmas. I'm just going to hide it because you guys know he has a Jeep and he likes to have these kind of fun signs in his garage. And I saw it, so I had to get it. And then I actually ended up getting two different picture frames to see which one I like better. This first one I got at Hobby Lobby. It was half off. And then this one I picked up at At Home. I'm actually thinking this one is going to look better on that table, but we'll see. And again, whatever one I don't use, 
Next time I'm at the store, I'll take it back. And lastly, you guys, look at this mirror. It's so awesome. It's rustic. It's wood. I think it's going to be beautiful above my new table in my formal living room. So we're going to put that up, and then this will determine what frame I use. I'm excited. So I ended up getting this for half off. It was normally $150. So I got it for $75, which I don't think is bad at all because it's huge. So I think in total, I spent about $215, but I will be returning one of the picture frames and we'll kind of see how everything else plays out. All right, so here's my living room that I bought these pillows for. So we're gonna go pop them on the couch and see what we think. All right, what do you guys think? I think that they're really, really cute. So I'm gonna put the other one on and then we'll see what our thoughts are. So it's not translating on camera the best, unfortunately, but I'll tell you in person, it's really cute with the home decor. And again, in this corner right over here, I'm going to have an artificial plant. It's on its way. And then this is the other corner and this is the plant stand I'm going to replace. So this is the before and the after so much better i just think it really brightens up the space with having it be that lighter wood top with the black legs i think it's really really cute so i will either use this plant stand in this corner or this plant stand will eventually end up in this corner over here with my new plant it's not here yet i actually ordered it on amazon so when it gets here we'll be able to determine that but I'm loving it and my lamp arrived today from Amazon for this corner. So I'll put that together and we'll do a quick little, what does it look like when it's all done? Now moving into the other living room. All right, what do you think? So here is the table. I went ahead and went with this frame just because I think that it goes a little bit better with the mirror and in this space. I have my little rusty C, my candles, and then above that, Hi everybody so what do you guys think do you like the final look okay so i changed my mind i'm going to return the mirror there was another mirror that i liked there as well so i'm going to go ahead and return that one i don't love it i did decide to keep both frames so i can decide which one i want with the new mirror but i am excited that there is my a new lamp you guys that i got off of amazon it has really pretty like wood poles and a nice white shade so it looks so nice in the corner it just kind of ties in with the new look here of my living room which i am absolutely loving i love the pillow so overall the home decor shopping today was a huge win i'm just going to go back and return that mirror and just pick the other one that i think is going to look a little nicer in the space all right, so I am back at Hobby Lobby. I decided to run up really quick and return that mirror that I bought. It's just not the right one for the space. I think the other one I was eyeing is going to be a much better fit. So I did end up keeping both picture frames just to make sure which one I like better once I get the mirror that I actually want. So I ran up to do this really, really quick. And while I'm here, I want to let you guys know that I never ate the meat stick. I only had the built bar when I was out shopping earlier. So back into Hobby Lobby. All right, so here is the mirror that I went with. You can see it's kind of got that same coloring as the table. This one was actually $89.99, half off, so $45. So I actually got $35 back. That other one was about $150 before the half off. So cross your fingers, this looks good. I'm so happy, this is a literal perfection. It looks so good with the table. So I ended up going with the frame that I originally got at Hobby Lobby. That's the little bit darker wood, a little bit larger frame. It just looks a little bit better in the space. I love this mirror, absolute perfection in the space. I love it, it looks so good. And I love the living room. I love it, I love the lamp. It's actually turned off so you can see it a little bit better. As Soon as that plant gets here for that corner right over there, it's going to be done. I am so happy I decided to go ahead and spend the 30 bucks on the plant stand. Yeah, you guys, I'm absolutely loving it. So here is my lunch since I'm busy around the house kind of figuring out home decor things. I have some updates for you guys. I'm gonna have a pretty quick and easy lunch. It's almost noon. So here I have four slices of that same turkey that I had for breakfast. I'm in the use it up mode, so I'm trying to use that up. 
So I have four slices of that for zero points. And then I have one of these mozzarella sticks from Trader Joe's for two points. I broke it in half and rolled it up in the turkey. So this is two points for all of that. And then I have some strawberries for zero and I have one serving or 31 crackers of these Trader Joe's roasted gorgonzola. These crackers are so good. So I decided since I was really pumping up the protein, I could have a little carb with the crackers and some strawberries. So this is lunch and it is six smart points. All right guys, it's two o'clock. I'm gonna make a protein shake while I start actually editing this video to go up tomorrow. So I'm using the Live Well Plant Protein and Chocolate. It's almost gone. I have another bag on order. You guys know my obsession with Live Well. I've actually gotten quite a few questions on this protein. Like what makes this better than whey? So first of all, plant protein does not cause inflammation and gut upset, which a lot of whey proteins do. The issue with plant protein is sometimes the grittiness and chalkiness of the powder. Live Well has it completely done right right? They do not have any chalkiness or weird taste or texture. It tastes amazing. And it has 17 complete grams of protein, which is another thing you don't always find with whey protein, which is complete protein. So I love Live Well. This is my very favorite brand, hands down. They have chocolate, vanilla, coconut, and unflavored, all of which are amazing. I have every single one. Give them a try. If you've been leery of plant protein or you haven't liked plant protein in the past, Give Live Well a try. You will not be disappointed. So I'm going to do one scoop of this for two points. I will link it down below with 10% off for you guys. We're going to add in a frozen banana and some frozen spinach. And then I'm going to do one point worth of the forager cashew milk. This is one of my favorite non-dairy milks. And then I'm going to blend it all up here in my cute little magic bullet. And that's my afternoon snack before I take my built go, which will be before my workout. All right, it isn't pretty, but it tastes really, really good. So this is going to be three smart points and I have about 18 to 19 grams of protein, which is amazing. So this is my afternoon snack. So I am packing up my pre-workout. This is the pineapple banana flavor from my adventure to fit. Same company that my greens came from that I took this morning. Love this company, love this pre-workout. I would say my favorite products are definitely the pre-workout and the greens. But as you know, I also use their CalMeg. So I have their greens and their CalMeg. This is really great as well, but I'm obsessed with the greens and of course the pre-workout. So I put one scoop here in my blender bottle and then I bring some water along and shake it up about 10 to 15 minutes before my workout starts. I'm also bringing my Built Go. This is the chocolate and coconut. I've actually not tried this one yet, so I'm pretty excited. So we'll do a real time first impression review. I am going to literally grab my bottles of water, put on my tennis shoes and hit the road. And I will take this built go and give you my review. I'm pretty excited. I've loved both the other flavors. All right. I am going to take my built go again. This is the chocolate coconut. I've never tried it. It smells really good. So I wanted to show you guys the consistency of this, in my opinion, is similar to like a honey. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's like a chocolate sauce. Ooh, that's good. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. This tastes like a melted mound. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a mound candy bar that you melted. Wow. This is really good. So all three flavors are delicious. This one's only two points. The mint is only two points and the peanut butter honey is three. Well worth it. 15 grams of collagen protein. I've gotten that question. Is it whey or collagen? It's collagen. So that's amazing. Collagen protein is so good for you. So I'm going to finish this on my way to drop an envelope in the mail at the post office and go to Jazzercise. All right, I'm heading into Jazzercise. It's 512. I'm just gonna pop about 10 ounces of water into my pre-workout when I get into class. Shake it up and let's go work out. I can't wait. And for the record, here is my Fitbit tracker before 
jazzer size i have four or 5468 steps in eight active minutes so let's see what jazzer size gives me tonight all right and it is an hour later and i have 67 active minutes and i'm less than 70 steps away from 10,000, so you can bet that i'll be reaching that so i'm heading home to have some dinner all right so here is a dinner tonight i went ahead and made myself a steak salad so what i have on here that is zero points of course is the lettuce i have some shredded carrots some radishes strawberries and some beets all of which are zero points i have four points worth of sirloin steak i also have one point worth of crispy onions and then i made my regular dressing that is the balsamic mustard oil and a little bit of salt and pepper and that is two points and then i also have two points worth of avocado so it is four five six seven eight nine so this is my nine smart point dinner and this looks so good all right dessert is the smart sweet sour melon bites i'm obsessed with these these are the brand new candies from smart sweets when you first put one in your mouth there's a little bit of sour and then it turns really really sweet they are delicious this entire bag is three smart points that's it 100 calories i'm gonna pour them out so you can see how many you get because you get a ton for the smart points so all of these this entire pile is 100 calories and three smart points you cannot buy these in store but you can get them on the smart suites website i do have 10 percent off i'll put that here on the screen for you and it's linked down below so this is going to finish out my night my dessert three smart points and i love uh, i love these i'm so excited thank you for joining me on another what i eat in a day on ww Whew, we had a busy day my friends but we got a lot done and a lot accomplished which always makes me feel really good at the end of the day it was a little bit different day with going to jazzercise and eating leftovers and being part of the whole use it up challenge that i have this week but my meals were amazing super, super delicious. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. If you are new, make sure you're subscribed and that your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I do upload most days of the week. And again, what I eat today is always on Wednesday. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel. And of course, I appreciate it. And leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's What I Eat in a Day. And if you enjoyed coming along kind of on a vlog style day in the life. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.